WYCF, your local view on WVBKCA, serving Manchester, Londonderry, Vermont, and South Charlestown, New Hampshire, and WVBQLP, serving Charlestown, New Hampshire, and Rockingham, Vermont. Tonight on YCN, Chester police have arrested a man and a woman in a burglary case. There's a new post office at the West Hartford Village Store. We'll hear from Duncan McDougall about the Children's Literacy Foundation. And meet Steve Winter, a Republican running for state rep. With more news, sports, and weather, stay tuned. It's time for YCN, your local view. Now, your daily digest of the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region. News, sports, weather, public affairs, and all that is happening in our area. The YCN News Hour, your local view. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to YCN. I'm David Carmichael. After a five month investigation, Chester police arrested a Springfield man and woman for taking $8,000 worth of tools from Gary Watkins on Popple Dungeon Road in Chester, Vermont. Chester police arrested Lulu Powell, a 31 year old, and Jason Morin, a 27 year old, on Wednesday on felony counts of burglary and selling stolen property. Three other arrests are expected in this case. Anyone with information in this crime may contact Detective Matthew Wilson of the Chester Police Department at 802-875-2035. Residents and visitors to Lebanon should be aware that on Saturday and Sunday, they may smell methanol, a colorless gas that smells like rotten cabbage or garlic. The odors will be from maintenance by Clean Laundry on Foundry Street in Lebanon on their liquefied natural gas system from 8 a.m. to dusk each day. The same odorant is used in propane and serves to provide a safe means for identifying leaks. The Lebanon Fire Department will be moderating the operation throughout the weekend. Residents smelling any odors of propane are encouraged to report it to the Lebanon Public Safety Communications at 603-448-1212 and the Fire Department units will investigate the cause. A privately managed post office operating in the newly renovated West Hartford Village Store is the first of its kind in northern New England. The new location replaces the full-service post office that was wiped out by Tropical Storm Irene. The village post office is staffed by a contractor and provides a scaled-back level of service. Post offices like the one in West Hartford are tucked inside existing businesses to serve customers in rural communities. Promising a new spirit of collaboration, the Claremont City Council and Claremont School Board met last night for the first time in six years. The push for cooperation came on the same day the school board voted to hire an architect to formulate a renovation plan for Stevens High School. Their discussion touched on the need to renovate Stevens High and the possibility of a bond vote for up to $17 million with very little state aid. When we return, we'll see what the weather's like for your weekend. Stay tuned. The YCN News Hour continues in a moment. 